I'm on the way to Penzance in Cornwall, where we live, because we're gonna go down and try some e-bikes. We're trying out the Super 73 bikes, I think they're called. And I don't know anything about e-bikes at all. I know a little bit about electric mountain bikes, like a tiny little bit, just because everyone seems to be riding them at the moment. I thought they were just gonna be a quick little gimmick, but they just seem to have taken off and they seem to be here to stay. This style of e-bike is sort of more like a, a cafe racer motorbike type thing. They look really cool. They look more of like a commuter type thing, but they just look so cool. I've got no idea what to expect because I've never been on a, an e-bike before. Yeah, I'm really excited. I know that the Super 73 bikes are like the best types of bikes, electric bikes go in, so yeah, it should be interesting. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are on these Super 73 bikes which we've rented from a place called Ride On in Penzance in Cornwall. Initial thoughts are these are flipping awesome, they're so much fun it's ridiculous. So they've got these quite small but really thick voluptuous tyres I like to call them. It's got a 10 speed cassette on the back which I wasn't really expecting because it sort of looks like a commuter bike I was expecting it to just be a single geared sort of thing. So you can have, on, have it on zero power assistance and it goes all the way up to four. So it's got zero, one, two, three, four. And when you have it on four, it just gives you such a kick, it's ridiculous. Like, even when you're going down here, it seems to pull you along still. You don't have to pedal or anything, but you do have to pedal to get the power assistance. I've seen on some videos that the bikes do have like some sort of non-pedal power assistance, but these ones don't. It's got front suspension, which locks out. It doesn't have rear suspension, so it can get a little bit uncomfortable on the bum around like these bumpy Cornish roads because we're sort of like in the, the Cornish outback at the moment. Around town it was just so comfortable. The seat is actually really like spongy. It looks like a proper cafe racer bike. It just looks so cool, I think. It's got loads of storage in there. I don't know what you'd put in there, but you could use it for going camping or something like that. I keep changing the power assistant level I'm on, but it seems to be really good in terms of battery um, storage. It's got a headlight on the front that you can turn on and off. Um, it's got a horn, it's got a proper horn. <coughs> Well, it's got a little app, but I haven't really got a chance to properly use the app yet. It's got Magura levers. I don't know if it's actually got Magura brakes, I'm assuming so. I only really use the back brake. The seat isn't adjustable, so, you know, it is a bit of an awkward cycling position. We have been going for quite a long way, and like I said, these roads are really bumpy. So it's probably not ideal for this sort of thing, because your, your knees aren't in, like, the ideal cycling position. Oh, we're off! Whee! Whee! You can't wheelie them. Not really. We just cycled them from Penzance on the south coast all the way to Zena on the north coast, which is probably about, I think it's about five miles or something like that. It wasn't actually too bad. And my initial thoughts are I absolutely love it and I really want one. Up hills, it is really hard, especially steep hills. We've been riding them for about two and a half hours now and it's got like 90% battery left. I have like 80% battery left, so that's pretty crazy. I am feeling stiff. We ended up doing 20 miles in the end, which is pretty crazy on those little things, I think. I'm feeling really stiff because it was quite, it had a rigid like back end, it was a hard tail, um, and that seat does get a little bit hard after a while. It is really comfy still, but I, I think I probably got to the limit for how many miles I could do in terms of comfortness. And that's really the only thing that limits you because my legs are feeling, absolutely fine it was just yeah it was so much fun apparently that's the middle range bike they do uh one that doesn't have any gears they also do a higher range one that has an accelerator um, with a bigger battery they are quite heavy we realized that when we tried to push them up a load of steps to get over a bridge but they're built really solidly i didn't feel like it was going to fall apart we took them along the beach quickly at the end and to be fair they were shaking quite a lot going along the beach i really want one i think it'd be Obviously I'm not gonna get one because they are a lot of money, but um, I really enjoyed it. And I, it wouldn't replace like a, a mountain bike or anything like that, but I think it'd be just so cool just to, I really like the idea of putting one on the back of the van. And when you get to somewhere, because I've, I've looked at scooters before, mopeds and stuff like that, and putting that on the van and being able to pull up, set your van up, and cycle you, uh, take your moped around, but having one of those electric bikes, they go super fast as well. It's almost like a motorbike. Yeah, so we went from we went from Penzance to uh, Zena. We went close to Gurnard's Head, so we went all the way from the south coast of Cornwall to the north coast, which sounds far, 
you know, we only did 20 miles in total in the end. As I said, it was quite uncomfortable by the end of it. We were going like over these, they weren't even speed bumps, they're little like white marks in the road for like slowing down a bit. And we just went over those. And they're only the smallest little things, but I could feel it through my body. It was just like really hard on my bump. The front suspension was really soft though, which was good. And I had quite a few issues going up steep hills. It feels like if you want to get up a steep hill, you almost have, a, you have to have a lot of speed in the first place and it sort of pulls you up. The early stages of when you start pedaling, it is quite hard on those bikes. And it also has these like really tiny cranks. They're like 125 millimeters or something like that. I think that's what I read on them. They're like the smallest cranks I've ever, I've ever used before. And it was almost like those kids' little trikes that have the cranks attached to the wheels. It felt a bit like that because they're so small it's hard to get any sort of power down. If you get a speed, bit of speed going up before the hill, you can just fly up the thing. And that was just the secret really. You just gotta get some power down to get you up the hill in the first place. Like trying to start on a hill from, from a standstill position, it just felt impossible really. The, yeah, the battery was absolutely mental. I was just like, this battery is not gonna die. Um, yeah, so we got to 60% by the time we got back. And when you're going down hills, it also feels like it's pulling you down hills as well. I really loved it. I've never experienced anything like it before. I'd really recommend doing it. I really would like one. I think it would be so much fun. I'm not gonna get it because I, it's a lot of money, but I would definitely recommend renting one for just like a little something to do during the day. If you ever come down to Cornwall or you live in Cornwall, the place where we hide the bikes from is called Ride On. It's on Key Street in Penzance and we had them for four hours and to be fair, at the end we were rushing to get back. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to have a gear changer. It had a 10 speed Shimano Z cassette and derailleur and I'm not really sure I've ended up changing gears that often because obviously you get power assistance because so there's less need to change gears like the lower gears did seem a bit useless because I I get the feeling that if you've already got momentum then it helps you more than like the lower gears it's just so hard to go along in the lower gears for some reason if that makes sense so if you like that video then please like the video and consider subscribing if you didn't dislike the video and don't subscribe, all right? If you've tried any of these Super 73 bikes, then let me know, tell me what you thought. Or if you've tried another variation of the same bike, let me know, tell me what you thought. I wanna talk electric bikes. I've never talked about electric bikes really before, and I'm just interested in them. It's a new avenue to go down and explore. Yeah, cool, cheers.